All right, so I got the printer plugged in. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Turn it back. All right, so it powers up. There's actually a light here also. Got the Creality logo. It says machine starting. All right, now it wants us to choose the language and we have quite a few to choose from. I'm gonna stick to English. Now it's telling us to remove those three bolts from the build plate. So we're gonna remove the three bolts with the yellow arrows pointing at them. And they are these three silver screws. All right, so we're gonna click OK. So it's asking us to make sure everything is clear and there's nothing inside. I'm gonna click OK. So for the next part, it wants us to set up our network or connection to Wi-Fi and we can go ahead and do that or we can skip it. I guess I'll go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi. So you can click on your network and then enter your password. So now we are connected. We got a little check mark. We'll click next. It wants us to choose our time zone and you can just scroll through it. So here it wants us to download and connect the Creality Cloud on your phone, which we'll do, but a little later. So let's skip this part. And now it's gonna do a self-inspection. And it looks like the firmware is still not perfect as here where it says start detection and some of it's cut off. So you guys probably can't see that, it's too far away. But So I'm gonna click on start and it's gonna do all the self-checks. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and peel this film that I haven't done yet off the build plate. All right, so let's click on start. And it's going to do all these self checks, including nozzle heating, which is doing now. It's good. Now, heat bed heating, checking for that. Okay, that was good. We had a little bit of a force going down with the bed that was that popping. But yeah, it looks like all our fans are working, and now it's doing input shaping, which is going to vibrate parts of the printer to compensate for the resonance or vibrations. We do have a foam stuck underneath that I haven't been able to get out yet, but maybe we can get it once it goes up. Okay, it is going up very, very slow. And our foam release there. We can go ahead and pull it out. And it looks like it's just going up very slowly. To be honest, I wish this door would open a little more. It's almost 90 degrees, a little more than that. So this is 90 degrees right here, but yeah. Wow, that's super slow. I wonder why they're going so slow. Maybe it's uh, gonna figure out where it's at. That's why it's going slow, but now yeah, we'll see here. So you guys probably can't see as it's higher now, but it does seem to use the nozzle to tap on the bed. All right, so now it's doing its input shaping. Okay, now it's vibrating the hot end. So yeah, it's just doing vibration compensation, which it shakes the axes different directions to compensate later while it's printing. That will take a few minutes and you might be able to hear it. It's kind of going on a higher tone. All right, so it's done with that, and now it's going to auto leveling. So it's going to level the build plate or probably take measurements there. I'm not too sure what it's doing over there right now, but it's slowly moving. It's turned on all its fans now and got quite loud, including this one here on the side. So yeah, it's definitely taken a while to do this, but yeah, it seems like it's checking corners right now. So it looks like it did 25 points there and it is done self-testing and it says complete. So let's click OK and it looks like we're at the home menu. 
All right, so let's take a closer look here at the display and you guys can see the resolution is quite nice and clean. We are connected to Wi-Fi and this graph here that we see or this animation <laughs> is the nozzle temperature. Yeah, honestly, I'd prefer to see numbers, but you know, I guess a graph is kind of cool. So on the side here, we have main button, so we're at home. Then we have settings, which we can adjust a few things like our nozzle temperature. So if we click on that, we can type it in, escape. Our bed temperature, same thing. And below that, we have the ambient temperature inside the printer, which is 31C. And then we have motor off. If you click that, it releases all the motors. And here you guys can see you can move the individuals, home everything, home X and Y, and then home Z here, and also move the Z in increments. And on the top, we can choose from axis movement. And you guys can see how the letters are kind of chopped off. Yeah, not a great execution, but probably can be fixed in software update. But if we click on the next one here, it says extruder. So here we can extrude or retract our filament. And it says here tip that it'll automatically preheat and then we have a cooling here you can control the fans manually so you can actually check how they all work so that's the side fan there and then we have the back fan that's on the back of the panel so yeah pretty cool so the next one down here is going to be files and it looks like we have already some prints ready to go in the local section so that's going to be internal memory then we have the usb drive which we have nothing plugged in so it's empty and history of what's been printed so yeah, pretty cool that they include some files and yeah, it looks like we have first layer testing, a cat and also a crazy speed test of 600 millimeters a second and a 17 minute benchy, which should take 15 minutes it says, but yeah, pretty cool. So we'll definitely have to try these out. And then we have settings down here and that's going to be screen brightness so you can go brighter or lighter. So I think I'm going to go more darker than brighter as we're filming. It's easier for the camera to pick it up. Hopefully that's not too dark. And then we have screen off. So the screen turns off after three minutes and you can set that to five minutes or nothing at all. Don't turn off, I guess. So we'll just leave it at three. And then we have our languages here, which is English. The self test, they're already done. Time zone, bind the printer to the Creality Cloud. And we'll do that a little later. But yeah, if we click on that, it's gonna give us the barcode to scan, export log, version that we're on, and reset the whole thing, and about the printer, which shows us more detail here. And on the very bottom here, we got something, which I'm not sure about. Okay, so it's frequently asked questions and an online manual. And also we have a log uploader, so, all right. We go back to home and by the way we can see we have blue and green which is green looks like is our bed and the blue is our nozzle so if we click here what happens nothing do we have presets or not i guess not all right and here you guys can see we have a light we can turn that on and off and also fan control straight from the home here yeah pretty intuitive overall very nice display let's go ahead and go to extruder here and we will click on extrude and that's going to preheat it and we're going to install our filament and you guys can see it goes here through the steps. And if we flip around to the back, we can see here this is where our spool's gonna go. And speaking about the filament, we got some Saint Smart PLA, but this is not any ordinary filament, it's high speed printing, which is up to 500 millimeters a second, which is kind of interesting because this printer can do 600, but I think we should be fine here, even with this. It's a very high speed GT3 here branded. Filament from Saints Mart, which is sealed with a biodegradable spool made out of looks like recycled material. So yeah, very eco-friendly. You can see the specs here, and it is a PLA high flow matte color. Yeah, it looks really nice. So what you want to do is cut it on an angle so we can feed it easier. And we're gonna set the spool here on the spool holder, and then it's gonna unwind that way and go into the PTFE tubing here through the filament detector and there's a little blue light that lights up. Then we're just gonna feed it all the way through and it's gonna go around down into the hot end. Yeah, hopefully you guys can see there's that little lever, a little chrome lever up here. It's kind of like right behind this tube. So if you pull it this way towards yourself, that unlocks it and if you push it that way, that locks it. So when you're putting the filament in, you wanna turn it this way or click it this way. And then once you're all the way through, then you can lock it in and the teeth will grab and push it through. So since we're feeding it through, what we wanna do is just kind of feed it here from the back. So you open this door here and we can just keep pushing until we get through all the way to the hot end. And then once you get inside, you can lock it to get it to do it automatically. Or if you have it unlocked, you can just push it through yourself. So yeah, manually pushing it through, you guys can see it's starting to come out, but it's probably easier just to lock it 
and then we'll click extrude and that's going to kind of automatically just you know purge it so and you guys can see it's building a little pile there all right so it's done it actually purges quite a bit so let's go to our files and i guess we'll start here with the layer testing as that should be quite interesting and we'll see you know how level the build plate is so let's move this out of the way we'll click on this print click print and there it goes and yeah it was a pretty decent amount of purge there so it's actually cooling off the nozzle right now and now the bed's moving up and yeah i wish the z-axis would move a little faster than that all right so it looks like it's going to go through the procedures here before it starts Okay, now it's warming back up to 220 on the nozzle. And it looks like what it's doing is cleaning itself over there. So that's like a cleaning zone, kind of, or I'm not sure exactly what it's doing. It's doing something. So it heats it up and then it cools it off as it drags it on the bill plate. So it's cooling off now. And I'm guessing this is how it wipes itself, the extra PLA on there. All right, so it looks like it worked. Pretty clean on the tip. And I guess now it's going to do its measuring and shaping, input shaping. So in my opinion, it's definitely taking much longer than I would like. I guess if that, you know, helps it with being perfect, that's fine. But yeah, it seems like it's just taking forever. And if, you know, you want to get started quickly, this doesn't look like it goes quickly. It does all this testing and probing and whatnot else. So it looks like it's doing the four corners and yeah, I hope it's not going to do the whole bed again, but who knows. And <laughs> look at that guys, it's doing the out of bed leveling again. So yeah, it definitely takes a very long time for it to start. So I wonder if there's a way to undo that bed leveling at least part where you can just go straight to printing once it does it, you know, once it should be pretty close, I would think, but. Alright, so looks like we're finally going to start printing. We're preheating to 220. And there it goes. It looks like the bed's going to stay at 45. Alright, looks like a pretty good purge there. And away it goes. And yeah, it's going corner to corner. And <laughs> it looks perfect. Wow. Alright, well, I guess it was worth the wait. All that probing and shaking around and it looks like it's going to do like a full layer on the bottom of that big square there well i guess that's going to be quite interesting to see how it comes out so far it looks pretty much perfect i would say very interesting so on the display there's not too much different that's going on we just have the picture here and it shows you the preview there a progress bar 16 percent done 17 how much time passed 17 minutes to go then we got the pause and stop button here it looks like we can control our light on and off and also our fan here so the only thing that's on is the back fan right now and yeah it looks like we can control our bed temperature here and the nozzle temperature and other than that let's see what else can we do here yeah kind of interesting because on the print menu here i guess i don't see where you can speed it up or slow it down or you know adjust the flow or anything like that it's it doesn't appear to be here and all these buttons are just normal menu buttons pretty limited on what you can do while it's printing And also to note that it's actually quite quiet at least at this speed which is pretty quick still and it doesn't make much noise and even the fans are quite subdued at this point i guess it's on the first layer nothing's really on but yeah as far as the motor sounds it's very quiet all right so it is finished let's check it out up close and you guys can see it looks really really good so it's practically perfect according to what i can see it is a little bit lower on this side than that side but yeah very very close like extremely close and nothing to complain let's see how easy it pops off so this is just one layer so it's quite thin and bendy 
But if we grab one end, we can see it peels off real easy. And yeah, actually it might be a little farther from the plate than it needs to be. As we can see that it's kind of stringy, so it didn't bond to itself. And I don't know if that's considered the perfect layer, but I guess as long as it's stuck on there, the next layer would kind of combine them. But yeah, they're all actually loose. Very, very cool. I guess the point here is that it's all very similar to one another, so it's very level throughout the bed. And on the display, it just says print complete, finish, and it just goes back to the main menu.